It's pro shade time, baby. Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty, black with the purple strip. Let's be real. All right, Ravens fam. So um, I know y'all heard the news. Um, Rashad Bateman is going to get his surgery. He's out for the year. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I I think October twenty eighth, something like that. In the twenties, I'll say. Um. Press conference. Ah, man. Um. John Harbaugh said that him. His injury um, and Mark Andrews' injury is not that serious. Now, that was, I believe, after Thursday's game. Or, or uh, yeah, after Thursday's game. And we see on Thursday, which is today, they report he's out. Um, he says Bateman um, got with his, you know, his people when they decided he needed to get the surgery and he's out. Now, I had a couple of things that came to mind when he said that. I gave you all my instant reaction on my short. Thank you all for the comments as well on the short. It made some great points. Um, but this is the second year that I can think of back to back years where John Harbaugh and his medical staff has fluffed up. They messed up. They did it with Ronnie Stanley. They rushed him back, messed up the process. And he just came back not too long ago. Now you look at this year, they did the same exact thing to a Rashad Bateman. We all knew he wasn't fully healthy. How he can catch the ball and how he was running. It wasn't that burst speed. Why do you, and it's a, and out of all injury, it's a foot injury. You're going to try to rush this man out there. You look at the injury report, it is so freaking long. And it's just like, when will the Ravens ever learn? And even even when Lamar came on the podium, he himself said he was shocked. He just like heard the news or something like that. How long did they know this information? Like, it's ridiculous. It looked like Lamar was actually about to get like a little teary out of I think he knows how much and hard Bateman worked to get back on that field to show everybody wrong. Which, with a great Roman scheme, you can't really show anybody wrong because it's a run first, pass second. Well, run first, pat record second, and then pass third. But anyway, let me stay on the track. Um, but that's interesting to me. Because we, you remember with Ronnie Stanley, he kept saying he's going to come back when he is ready. When his doctors say he's ready. Don't you have a medical staff? That you trust and believe in the players supposed to trust this medical staff? That shows the players don't even trust the medical staff. How could you? Look what they have done in the past. Their record is very bad. 
the conditioning coach, whoever that guy name is, I can't think of. Terrible. When he was, uh, he and he's still there, I believe. It just doesn't make sense. When are they going to learn? Then on top of that, Eric DeCosta didn't even get a wide receiver at the deadline of the trade. The only person that's out there so many people want is OBJ. Will OBJ come to the Ravens? I highly doubt it. That scheme they have, as I stated, run, pat record, pass, that's not going to fit them. If he does, I'll be surprised and I'll be happy. But it doesn't support the wide receiver court. Now so much pressure is going to be put on Devin DuVernay. Surprise. Player of the year. James Prochet. D. Rob, Tylen Wallace, D. Jack. Oh, I'm saying D. Jack is gonna play. Well, obviously he's gonna play. Bateman is out. You rushed him. Then I, I ain't gonna even say Andy Isabella or whatever. That that's the new E-Man Marshall. So it just gets to the point where it's just like, dude. When will the Ravens learn that they have a front? When will Steve Bishotti learn he has a front office problem? Harbs and his ego. Greg Roman, his ego. I ain't going to say Mike McDonald had a home. I ain't going to bring him in there because he's new. He's fresh on the block. For as a defense coordinator, he is new. Eric DaCosta, is he making the picks that he wants or he's being family friendly and getting the, some of the picks he wants and some of the picks Harps want instead of what's best for the team, he's going what's best for the head coach and his feelings. There's just so much things going on with this team. It just does not make sense. It's just like, man, this dude's supposed to be the number one wide receiver. You're trying to rush him back. Doesn't make sense. Are they going to rush Mark Andrews back? Mark Andrews showed the injury. They're going to rush him back. Me personally, I wouldn't even play him on Monday night. I say Isaiah Likely. I know some so many people giving him praise. Oh, we'll be okay. We got Isaiah Likely. That was one game. I need more proof. I need consistency in order for me to believe the hype now. Because I was believing the hype early. Then I was like, uh, like them old school buses. I don't know if they still have it. You pull that string. Ding! Uh, let me get off right here because I was on that hype train and uh, it's not for me. So the hype train is the hype, hype train is still trying to come back around to see if I'm gonna get on. Not yet, not yet. Just keep, just keep going, just just keep going that way. But I will sit at, I will sit out, Mark Andrews. Then we have the buy. Make sure he heals fully. But, yeah, we will see. Hov had that. They say he's a player's coach, but really, is he a player's coach? Or is he an ego coach? And all he cares about is ego. But anyway, so y'all tell me what y'all think about uh, about it. Uh, it's just very, uh, yeah, yeah, that's, 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 that's how I can, yeah. That's, that's, that's how I feel. Yeah. That's how, that, that one word. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.